Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's see where, okay, we are, let me introduce you my guest. I have Duke with me, and uh, uh, so, and you can see me this time, so I'm on camera one, Duke is on camera two, and let me show you what you're looking at. So this is uh, his uh, YouTube channel, this one has 120,000 followers, as you can see here, and he has amazing over uh, one point, uh, uh, 7 million following on uh, Twitter. Let me make it a little bit bigger for you so you can actually see it better. Okay, that, that way. Okay. Uh, can you see? Okay. Uh, so in this video, we're going to talk about the uh, how to grow your channel and what you can do with the uh, growth of your channel. Uh, so uh, my guest uh, is uh, certainly experienced in this uh, field uh, and when we prepare for this interview we spoke t of three aspects. One is, let's say when he has a uh, following of that magnitude, let's say someone wants to promote a club, uh, so uh, you can uh, contact uh, a guy like uh, Shinobi uh, Ninja ninja and uh, maybe uh, the club get gonna get filled how much it's gonna cost and the conditions that's a separate uh, story but it's uh, uh, using the channel like that at, uh, for promotional earnings is possible the other avenue that uh, where the channel like that could be uh, you know producing additional revenue is consulting work uh, when people see that it's a in my channel I have uh, here like only 34,000 uh, uh, subscribers like this uh, Instagram is 50,000 but uh, you know, look at this guy he's uh, huge so if you hire a guy like that uh, you're certainly uh, capable <coughs> <coughs> pardon me I'm a little bit sick <coughs> this week so I'm gonna try to I'm not gonna get uh, you sick over the microphone uh, but uh, I'm still uh, gonna sound a little bit rough uh, and uh, Duke is uh, humble enough to came to sit in the same studio with me. Even he knew as of yesterday that I still have my uh, flu uh, vibe. Uh, but I took your advice. Uh, and I don't know if you can uh, smell it, but I took a uh, garment today. Garlic? Good yes. Man, good garlic. So I have guests today in studio and uh, I had my garlic. So hopefully the girls, will, like models, will uh, f you know forgive me. Mm, I want to get uh, healthy. Uh, so, uh, guys, all ears to uh, Duke, and uh, hopefully he will give you some uh, nice advice. How do you think uh, it's possible? W what are the possibilities for the folks who wants to uh, monetize their channel? What are the possibilities? You can do it, for surely. For like surely, you can do how? it. How? Like what? Uh, let's say what? What are the metrics? Like let's say to fill the uh, club. Let's say you're a musician. So you know a lot of uh, folks who love music. If you to tell the audience, listen, guys, I think those dudes are pretty cool. I heard their music. You should go go out to to, to hear them. Do you think uh, that that might help? Uh, th this kind of endorsement uh, m might help uh, to fill the club. Yeah, man. Any any type of positive energy that you can get going. It's about marketing and and branding your event or the energy of the night. You know, so like when you're marketing an event. Like you're talking about an event, a show for a band, right? So there's many levels. There's the streets, right? You got to be on the streets. I mean, here in New York City, you got the you got the trains. I mean, you could be on the trains, on the streets, on the trains, passing out flyers. I mean, every time you walk past a salon in New York, what do they do? They give you a flyer because they want your business. So the same thing with bringing people to a show. You want their business, you know, at the end of the day. So... You want you have want to hit all the paths you can on the street is one you know you got to be on the street and then the other one you know you should be on the internet, the internet is where all the people are you know Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, you know what I mean like there's which platforms do you think are easier and which platforms are more efficient? Well, the do you thing think the Instagram is the most efficient of them. Well, in Instagram, Instagram, and Facebook, Facebook more than anything because Facebook you can really you know really pay for those for that advertisement. I mean, that's that's the way that Facebook makes money at this point. Like, you know, you can mm -hmm. sponsor a post, you can sponsor this. So, it just makes sense to like if you're going to you know, you got to buy flyers on the street, that's going to cost you x amount of dollars. You got to sponsor your posts on Facebook. That's going to cost you x amount of dollars. You got to sponsor your posts on Instagram. You got to sponsor your posts on Twitter. Wherever you have but fan base. It pays off. Like I spend a lot of money on those uh, in programs, and I don't think that it's the money that I put into this never uh, 
kind of feel the like with the, uh, come back to me with the profits. So I, I always lose. I f uh, that's what I feel. <laughs> Maybe I don't know the, all the algorithms, but I don't think at the end of the day, if I stop paying them, like um, or they charge twi next day twice more, I'm out of business. So I, I can't really rely on this. Like you was able to build your following. I don't think necessarily based on the, uh, just the paying them. Like your best video, for example, still on the cell phone, right? I don't think you spend any money uh, promoting it, and you have half a million views on YouTube on this one. Well, that's a that's a different exchange. That's a different currency. That's a currency of time. I spend a lot of time uh, promoting it. So, but that's I didn't have the finance to be able to okay, do it. Okay, what mm, uh, it entails in terms of time? Do you tell uh, all the people you know? Like, wh wh what kind of time? Like, how like a lot of people don't have money to spend on Facebook. Ads, totally, I can have understand. Money, uh, time uh, that I can contribute. All right, so time, time is a currency, just like anything. So if you don't have money, right? So I, I, I didn't have money, when, you know, and I, you know, it's like you have to find a way, regardless. So that's where the guerrilla marketing aspect of how I came up in Brooklyn, stickering stuff and spray painting stuff and just doing anything that it, that you could do within your means to be able to promote your brand and brand, you know, and market your thing. You know, at the end of the day, if you don't have money, you have time, utilize your time. What, how many, what can you do? Like, for example, if I go to the bodega and I, and I get a, like, I just got a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Shout out to the homies on Fulton Street. I got a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I made friends with that dude. I never met that dude before. I made mm -hmm. friends with him and I made friends with the cashier. Two dudes. So now when I go play a show, wherever the show is, and I, I have those flyers, like I said, flyers only cost like 50 bucks. I have a thousand flyers for 50 bucks. Those, both of those guys are getting flyers. You know, both of them are getting flyers. And I'm going to oh, do that. You're going to mail them? I'm going to give it to them. When I go get that peanut butter and jelly sandwich and, I'm, and I smiled at you and smiled at me, you're getting a flyer. Yo, we playing on Monday. You should come. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. They'll feel your and energy. It, and it's work and it's uh, still worth you it? Do this, you do this every day. It's, it's called self-promotion. Mm -hmm. You do this every day, it works. 100%. Mm -hmm. So not just that. You have to yeah, have many. You see my, my name, uh, same, same thing. So, uh, you see my plates on my car, sa same, same That's thing. That's just yeah. one. Mm -hmm. So you got to have many, as mm -hmm. many as you can. And you got to utilize your friends and you got to utilize your resources. What are your resources? You know, like if, say, for example, say your uncle owns a bus. Say he owns a bus. And put your thing on the side of the bus. Okay. You know what I mean? Utilize your resources, whatever those resources are. For Here's another example. For another, here's another example. The Naked Cowboy. You know the Naked yep. Cowboy. Yeah, Everybody know. knows the Naked Cowboy. Well, the Naked Cowboy didn't have any money. He just had a pair of underwear, uh, a cowboy hat, and an acoustic guitar, yep. and some boots. And everybody knows him, but uh, it's really cold. I don't know if um, that many people are capable to stay in, uh, in that weather he, uh, out there. He's if you really want this, <laughs> yep. then you will okay. find a way. You will be creative, and mm -hmm. you will find a way. If you remember Rocky... In Rocky IV, yep. he, he fights the Russian dude, yep. right? So the Russian dude has all the power of Russia behind him, all the resources and the money, and they're giving him steroids, and he's working now, and he's a monster. What is Rocky doing? He's all by himself. He's punching meat. He's out there in the wilderness mm -hmm. picking up wood. Same thing. And who won? The same thing. He won. Uh, so let me take you to the next question. Uh, uh, guys, if you still have uh, questions uh, for Duke, please uh, comment, e email to him, and uh, re reach out. So hopefully he will uh, answer and uh, maybe help you to promote your events and uh, your uh, venue and uh, your show. Uh, let's say you're a musician, so you pr the main thing that you do and the main thing that you want to do is produce your music. Uh, you know, l do do your thing. But uh, if someone comes along on the side and say, "Listen, uh, I come from an extremely wealthy family. Uh, my family, let's say, owns a couple of buildings in Manhattan. I'm, you know, I'm well, well off uh, already, and I'd like to you know, make a nice video. I'd like to get famous. I want to. I have plenty of money already. You know, I'm interested in like uh, likes and followers, and I, I want to fame." Uh, can you help someone like that uh, to accomplish this and actually not only because one thing is to just use 8K r uh, red camera and something fancy and probably hire dudes out of school who have absolute knowledge of the equipment but have no creative uh, control. But someone like you who done it for yourself, with the, uh, like you've proven that you have your 120,000 followers on uh, YouTube, a million uh, eight uh, on Twitter, those are an accomplishment, so you certainly can do s similar things uh, for others. 
Totally. Especially if you have the resource of finance. Mm -hmm. That makes it, then we don't need to be out there spray painting and we don't need to be out there handing out flyers. We can hire people to do those things. We can not even do those things. You can go completely different realms. So I can, you know, I definitely have the the power and the vision at mm -hmm. this juncture of, of, of uh, my maturity and career because I, I've gone around the cycle once already and I've seen a lot of things and I found different ways to accomplish different goals. So whatever your goal is, if you have visions and goals, you know, I can help you accomplish those goals you know, based on the experience that I've had, you know, and it's just a matter of what your goal is, what your vision is. Okay, guys, uh, let me uh, point to you one more point. Look at this beautiful lady. Uh, she's taken. Uh, she's with Duke. Obviously, uh, she's very pretty and uh, she's the lead for his, uh, you know, uh, production. Let me show you. Uh, I think that's the video uh, when uh, she uh, moves a little. Uh, so this young girl will be at the Fashion Week with us, hopefully, uh, uh, during the February uh, time. And uh, if you'd like to keep maybe uh, a nice uh, address in her or promote something, uh, she's quite influential. She's uh, a people person, and uh, Duke and I uh, would be able to help her to, you know, be at those uh, uh, Heidi Klum and the uh, New York Fashion Week, all the major uh, events uh, to come in, uh, on the VIP spots. Mm, uh, so uh, if you want to promote maybe a jewelry, maybe a heels, uh, maybe a, a winter coats. We, we can uh, help uh, to have uh, those items uh, to be on the front row. Uh, so uh, Duke is working behind the scene. Uh, it's not that easy uh, with this young, young lady at the moment uh, to have uh, uh, kind of... Uh, she's uh, quite busy with the young uh, next generation of uh, Duke <laughs> at home, but uh, we, uh, with certain money, certain arrangements could be made. Uh, so uh, let's talk about it. Maybe, maybe uh, you would consider that young girl uh, to promote your stuff uh, during your fashion week. Mm, and uh, do you have a, 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 a story about your uh, loved one? Do I have a story about her? Well, when I first met her, she was dancing for uh, Cassie, she, who had the number one song in the world at that time. She was da she just finished dancing for Rihanna. Um, you know, I turned on the TV and she was on the Victoria's Secret fashion show dancing for Ricky Martin. I would turn on the TV and she'd be on TRL. I would turn on the TV, she'd be on at the NFL kickoff dancing for P. Diddy. And I was just amazed because I had not experienced anything like that at all on any professional level whatsoever. I was just working at a studio and I was playing shows and nobody was coming to my shows. Nobody cared. And she was already shining. So for me, when I met Baby G, I was just like, wow, like, this is a star, you know? And this is before she even went solo and started making music. She was just a dancer. She was just a professional dancer, and she was already at the top of her profession. Then she started a band, like, you know, Shinobi Ninja is very unique, uh, influential band, and that has many styles, and, she, you know, fronting a rock band, a metal band, a hip-hop band. She raps, she sings. She has amazing style. She's beautiful. I mean, she's just everything that you could ever want in a star. You know what I mean? So, you know, for me, I'm just always in awe of Baby G, like just all across the board. Okay, guys. Uh, so y you can see this guy really loves her, uh, his wife, <laughs> uh, his girl. And uh, uh, so uh, let me okay switch the camera back to you. Uh, so uh, I will wrap up with the last idea. Uh, actually, since I'm talking, let me have some uh, camera time. Uh, so uh, my last idea for the uh, this segment is uh, we want to help some of uh, our friends uh, with the tribute videos. So we're looking at uh, the uh, someone who has tremendous accomplishment in life, let's say being a, a big president of a huge corporation for many years, or a doctor of many years of practice, or lawyer coming out of retirement, uh, like someone who accomplished uh, quite a bit in life, a professor, and if, if his uh, beloved one, a wife or a company would like to make him uh, her, her, for that matter, uh, a present uh, tribute video, we would certainly uh, be able to film something like that and produce it uh, pro professionally. So we'll visit the classmates, we'll visit the kindergarten uh, friends, uh, we will make uh, amazing interviews, maybe uh, help them to produce a music uh, song, a tribute, uh, maybe uh, we'll help you to write uh, a music, write to 
uh, uh, lyrics, like uh, right, all, all those things, and uh, have uh, <coughs> uh, uh, that video uh, produced for the uh, big occasion. Uh, and uh, like I said, uh, the gentleman next to me is uh, quite uh, powerful in that space. Uh, uh, so hopefully uh, you m will see uh, a reason to reach out to us. Thank you.